Hello, my name is Larry Stutes. I'm in the office equipment and uh, software business in Orlando, Florida. And uh, I have known Zig for some 20 years, but have uh, listened to him and read his material. In fact, got my first book, uh, See You at the Top in the 70s. In fact, I have it sitting on my desk here right now. And as I went back to it, I almost cried as I looked at the things that Zig says in there that I've been a part of my life ever since. Right at the beginning of the book, he said, I believe. You can get everything in life you want if you just help enough other people get what they want. And I've tried to live my life that way. And as you go through the book and read about the stairway to the top, I won't go through all of that because most of the people that see this will remember all those things. But you remember all of these things that Zig uh, talked about. In fact, I have some cassette tapes that I got from W. Clement Stone back in 78 or 79 where Zig was speaking at a big rally in Minneapolis, how to get what you want. And I went through all of these today and thought, wow, what an impact this man has had on my life. Jesus Christ has had the most impact of everybody, of course, and then Zig. I mean, it's unbelievable that Zig could uh, talk to us people in uh, such a manner that it would not only inspire us, but it literally becomes a part of us. It's been a part of me now for over 20 years. Uh, I got to know Zig as a friend uh, some 20 years ago and uh, have ridden on a golf cart with him many times for four or five hours. Zig and I were extremely close in ability on the golf course, so close that I usually only beat him by one stroke each time we played. And uh, we had a wonderful time, but after four hours with Zig on a golf cart, you just felt like you had had a little bit of, I, I, I want to say heaven, but I don't know if that's correct, but it just seemed like it because you went away from there saying, this man is so committed to what he does, so enthusiastic, so educational that by the time you were done, I felt like I'd had another year of college. And that's just from one round of golf. So needless to say, I tried to play as much golf as I could with Zig. His impact on me and my family has been unbelievable. I wouldn't be where I am today if it hadn't been for Zig Ziglar. His tremendous books, from closing sales to changing the picture you have, how to be a winner, Zig Ziglar on selling, five steps to successful selling, uh, on and on and on, over the top, top performance, I mean, embrace the struggle, autobiography of Zig, and of course, see you at the top. What a wonderful man, what a wonderful life. God bless Zig for sure. And now the new book that's coming out that uh, is said that maybe his last born to win. What we need in America today is a, more of an ability to think about winning, to know about winning, and understand how to win. And as is as typical of Ziegler's style, this book should be read by everybody today because when we get done with it, even with the things that are going on in the news, on the news, in the world, etc., we'll come out of it saying, you know what? We were born to win. And if we will just follow these things, as Zig Ziglar would always say, he'll see us at the top.